we're in Hiroshima, Japan at the Chuo Koyo factory, and this is what makes a Mizuno golf club different than anything else in the industry. So with the grain flow forging process, it's a little bit different than a traditional forging. We start by taking a 1025E pure select billet of mild carbon steel. What a billet is, it literally is just a piece of metal, you know, an elongated cylinder of metal. We'll take that cylinder and put it through a bending and stretching process. So by starting with the 1025E billet, you're able to ensure that the grains of, of the metal flow continuously from heel to toe. You know, metal is a lot like wood in that if you think of it, you know, you know, everyone knows wood has splinters and grains that run along the length of it, but metal is very similar where it actually has, you know, microscopic grains. So if you're able to get those really tight and consistent and flowing along the length of the club head, you can get a more consistent piece to piece. You also can get a truer vibration and a better feel from the golf club. So we take a mild carbon steel billet, we bend and stretch it into a proper shape, and then we go into our primary forging step. Wow. With the primary forging, it's a hammer press. So that's a hammer that actually comes down like a hammer and actually pounds it three times into, into roughly the shape of a golf club. Every loft of every golf club has its own primary stage forging. So even though when you look at it, it looks really rough, it is the first step in forming that specific seven iron, that specific five iron. From there, it goes into what we call kind of a cookie cutter stage, and it trims it down into the shape of a golf club. From there, it takes the primary forging and it goes into the first set of precision forging. So this is this is the first primary. This is the first, fine, 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 fine. the first time precision forging. What the precision forging is is a hydraulic press. That's a slow compression of the golf club into a more precise shape. There's a little bit of extra flash that comes out after a precision forging. That's removed through another cookie cutter, and then it goes into the secondary forging. You know, again. Each of these steps, it's really tightening the grains, it's making sure everything's really consistent, and it's pressing it more and more into the shape of a club. So after the second hydraulic press, it goes into a, a blast, a sand blast, that actually removes any of the impurities that have started to oxidize on the golf club. How long does process take, this blast? Is it short? 15 minutes for per set of heads? Okay. So already have score line here. Yeah. So this is final. Final, 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 final done. Final. Okay. So this is the final stage of a club being made at the Chuo factory. What happens in this room is clubs are getting the final logos placed on as well as the inspection samples before they go out to go into your bag. So there are only a handful of places in the world that forge golf clubs. With Chuo and Mizuno's partnership, they work together and only forge golf clubs together. If you look at many of the other forging foundries across the world, you'll see any of a number of lines coming down from one manufacturer on this line to another manufacturer on this line. With Mizuno and Chuo, we've partnered up with a handshake partnership to develop not only all of Mizuno's golf clubs, but to help advance forging just as an art to establish the greatest golf clubs together.